Meet Bob and Susie, the owners of Widgets, Inc. Their business is growing, and they need to enhance their phone system to meet their ever-changing needs. Let's start with Bob. Bob is located in Toronto, but much of his business is coming from London, England. So he decides to purchase a local London number. As you can see, Bob can just drag and drop a new phone number object onto the panel and then configure it with the local number that he previously purchased. Next, Bob will add himself to the panel since he wants all calls made to the London number to come directly to his mobile phone in Toronto. He configures his object for a mobile connection, gives the connection a unique identifier, and enters his mobile number. Now that Bob has added both a local London number and himself to the panel, he can simply click and drag a cable between the two objects to create the connection. The voice system is immediately active, and all calls made to the London number will ring through Bob's mobile phone in Toronto. Bob is also spending more time in his office, so he decides he would like the London number to also ring to his office in Toronto. To do this, Bob simply opens his object onto the panel and clicks the plus button to add another contact method, specifically a landline. He then gives the contact method a unique identifier and enters his office number in Toronto. As you can see, the system will now ring both Bob's mobile phone and his office phone simultaneously anytime someone calls the London number. What's even better is, if Bob wants his office number to ring first, since that's where he spends most of his time, he can simply slide the mobile contact method down the timeline so that it will start ringing when the office line stops ringing. Or he can stretch a contact method if he wants that phone to ring for a longer or shorter period of time. Bob then realizes he can't always answer his phone, so he decides to add voicemail by clicking and dragging a voicemail object onto the panel. He then configures his voicemail by selecting an email address to which the voicemail will be sent and records his actual message. Hi, this is Bob. Leave a message at the tone. Bob's message will then be uploaded and the system will give him the chance to listen to the recording he made at any time and even re-record it if necessary. Hi, this is Bob. Please leave a message at the tone. He completes his setup by connecting a cable between his own object and his voicemail. Now let's bring Susie into the scenario. Bob would prefer that Susie should answer the phone if he's unavailable. So they add Susie onto the panel and place her between Bob's object and Bob's voicemail. Once her information is entered and the cables are attached, any calls made to the London number that Bob doesn't answer will automatically go to Susie. Hello? As business at Widgets Inc. continues to grow, Bob and Susie decide to add a voice menu so that callers can choose a person they want to speak with when they call in. To facilitate this, Bob adds a voice menu object to the panel between the London number and his own object. He then configures the object with a unique identifier and records a message that callers will hear. Thank you for calling Widgets Inc. To speak with Bob, please press 101. To speak with Susie, press 102. Next, Bob drags cables from the London number to the voice menu and from the voice menu to both his object and Susie's object. Bob notices that the system automatically assigned him to extension 1 and Susie to 2. But that's not what he recorded in the message. Therefore, Bob just clicks on the extension numbers and adjusts them to what they're supposed to be. As time goes by, Bob and Susie can use this click and drag method to quickly and easily make any changes to their voice system and add features to support the needs of their growing business. It is all so simple.